Hello Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, this is Yorkie's second round Grand Arena. Was giving away a lot in gear tier. Um, more than twice as many gear 12s as me. Um, as we will see as we go into it. Th this particular battle I did um and uh, I found that my Thrawn was slightly faster than his Bosk. And then, um, yeah... Wait for it. There you go. Nooty baby. Newt dropped in. Um, he revives. It was as simple as that. It was my rebels aren't strong enough in depth. But I've got a good front three. So, um, yeah. So this was the first one. And, uh, of course, what I was trying to chase was, like, 60s. I, I didn't feel confident enough with single tune kind of wipeouts and, and maximum scores sort of thing. I just, yeah, I just didn't have uh, faith in my squad to be able to do that. But, yeah, I played this one slightly wrong in regards to new. In hindsight, I've watched it back once. Um, but, it's, yeah... In real, all reality, it's the front three, but it, I need to work on my Thrawn. Um, we'll come back to that much later in this recording, but I do need to work on my Thrawn. I know I do. However, he he's not a priority for me at the moment. I suppose it should be a 2.7. I'm coming up to the next power bracket, so I'm going to be facing a lot more like gear 12, double zated, or even well, just even zated. Mine isn't. There's quite a few tunes that I'm quite surprised that I haven't um, got, you know, either geared and in, in uh, to any capacity. Um, Shore Trooper is, is one that springs to mind immediately. Um, I will work on that. So we're getting close to losing Newt here, um, but we're. Uh, Whittling them down, really. Are. Um, there was a concern. I was also sorry. What I might, might not have mentioned was that his IG eighty eight had the Zeta. Uh, that was the bit that was really giving me cause for concern. And how I shut that down, which is why I deliberated over that, or or going back for Boba. Boba being the biggest threat, of course, because he can literally just one shot any two. Don't know how the dynamics. I would. I don't know which which way round that would work if he was to execute Newt before Newt's revive. Which would override the other? I'm assuming it would be the execute. So anyway, so now what I'm trying to do, as you can see, is just try and get as much protection back onto them all um, as possible. I think my timing was slightly out, but I did manage to give Newt some. And, uh, yeah. And it's kind of belts and braces. Do that just to make sure that he is, and then it's the one. Might as well just max out the hit. And I can't quite see under the recording thing, but I think that's 59 banners there. So I was chasing the 60s all the way through that. But that was that was the, the one that I was of, of most concerned to me. The other one I wasn't liking the look of actually was the Ewoks. Uh, quite a few things, and once they get going, and they will get going. Um, yeah. What do you do about that? So uh, I believe my solution to that was you send in bounty hunters under a boss lead, so at least they'll get a load of healing. Um, sometimes I am very guilty of trying to uh, get rid of the threats too quickly and you kind of fall into the trap and this is one particular occasion with Ewok Elder. I kind of, <clears throat> I know that, you know, once that ability block was off, and there it is, off now, um, he's going to revive and ideally I don't want him to. But yeah, you got to go with what you got. All the contracts have been filled, so we're doing okay. Alright, 
So there's, who was it? Low gray? Yeah, low gray. And he's gone again. Now we go back for Elder. And as you can see, yeah, now the Chirpa Zeta with the other two, with Wicket and, is it Pat Blue's got the other one? Can't remember. I know there were three, there were three uh, Zetas in this squad, I believe. But yeah, so we're getting there. Um, so Boba's nearly lost all his protection and Cad's got half of his. That's filling up. Doing the group attacks and whatnot to bring that up even higher. Cad's not quite maxed out and Boba's quite a way away from it. So I don't know, did I get Cad there? Yeah, we got the 59. I think it was Boba that, that lost me the one point there, but well, lost me. Yeah. This was a, tr a tough, tough match as far as I was concerned. I mean, we've got a Zeta even in the Phoenix. There's not, I, there was, there's not a squad there without a Zeta. So I think this is where... Uh, so, as you can see, my resistance isn't exactly great um, gear-wise. <laughs> but, oh my God, the synergy that this team has. Um... I've just seen the announcement. I've got four days to try and get my Ewoks to to unlock. Can we unlock a five star C3? If it's seven star, then I probably don't have a chance of unlocking C3, but that would be, oh wow, that really would be a game changer. For, well, not game changer, but that, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm, um, I'm fantasizing about actually being able to unlock C3. So yeah, yeah, this uh, this squad is just so good. So good, even at this low gear level. All right, admittedly, we're not going against, you know, gear 12 ones here. Um, I believe that Kylo Ren, the masked one, has the Zeta, could be wrong. It's gear 11, so, you know, and of course, doesn't take oh, the debuffs and everything on his health. He doesn't impact as high as, but boom, as regular tunes. <coughs> the crew brothers are um, gluttons for punishment. They do like to take a beat in before they return it. Okay, so where are we moving on to now? So what have we got? We've got the Phoenix and the uh, Bastilla. So with the Bastilla, um, spoiler alert, because we're going into it, and I think I take a little while to choose it. I think we're going to go Galactic Republic. I do like, I mean, it'd be fantastic if Yorkie could get Padme into the mix as well. But I do like that... General Kenobi lead with um, a Zeta Barris Offy. So basically, with under the Kenobi lead, um, if anyone heals, all present Jedi or whatever. So as long as you've got the full Jedi, they will all. It's another 212, basically. So you've got the 212 with Mr. Beardy. You got the 212 from Laris, say to Laris Offy, and you got another 212 off of Ahsoka's special, as demonstrated there. And of course, on Ahsoka's basic, she debuffs like a. All right, she doesn't annihilate, but she's kind of like a. I would say a Nihilus. Actually, in some ways, she's better than Nihilus because she also hits through foresight. So she really is. And once you get that Zeta on her um, and she's under a Galactic Republic lead, and I know, it, it, 
obviously you have to work with what you've got if you're if you're in the the privileged position of having Jedi Knight Red Revan, you probably want GK in that squad because that's going to be your top squad. But if you can find a, an option there um, and then run him here, if you don't have Padme, it's, yeah, actually, no, that would really weaken your Jedi Knight Revan squad because, of course, we've also got Grandmaster Yoda in here and Grandmaster Yoda is also just brings in that additional... You know, each time he does a special and he's got a bag of tricks in his repertoire, um, you, you just either, you know, debuffing or just hitting reasonably hard. Which doesn't hit the hardest, the Soka, but... Unless she's under a Padme lead. And then, even then, it's not the hardest, but of course it's great, greatly enhanced by all the buffs that she brings. But yeah, so we're, we're working our way through and still chasing down that elusive 60 banners. So now, you know, should just work on trying to get as much protection on, onto them all or max their protection out before we kill her. We've got plenty of time. We've got two, what over two and a half minutes. But um, we don't need that long. And there we go. And in actual fact, it turned out to be one of. I can't spoil everything, can I? The uh, the lowest banners that I got. But fun. The definite, I do like that. The synergy there is, I, I yeah, is great. So this actually is Yorkie's arena squad. Um, I don't have any Sif tanks. Well, I, I lie. I have one Sif tank, and he's already in the squad there. Darth Sion, but he doesn't. Um, you can't force his taunt per se. It, it needs to proc. Whereas of course. Kylo Ren are masked crew, put the abbreviation or whatever, um, or acronym even, um, does taunt. So he can take that, and also, of course, with his Zeta and that, he's getting, although it's the lead Zeta, but I think he, he still gets through one of the things, um, he'll, he'll re recover health and protection while buffed, and just getting into taunt all stun them or whatever does that I need to learn the mechanics better don't I but there we go we finally got 60 banners yay which I think is the full clear there so yeah I've set him a reasonably high um, target and here's the ships. I didn't look to see. I think I think his throne was pretty high geared. Um, well, well, actually, we'll see through this, won't we? Because I, th yeah, he's he's running through on again, or oh, as well. Um, Xanadu blood. You've already seen my cab bane, so you know that he's what he's gear eight, I believe. Um, and we've got a four star Xanadu blood, but oh my. Uh, this again is is basically my uh, fleet shard or fleet arena squad. So I'm going to try and stun Bo, but we get the stun there. Um, now, of course, we want to get Breach out, and then what Xanadu Blood's job then is to. Uh, fortunately, we're not hell ill. Biggs hasn't taunted there's no target lock on us so that now enabled me to uh spread the love and get another breach so now what we've got is we've got a guaranteed even if he calls in whoa even if he calls in a Darth Vader who can ability block and everything and remove buffs uh we've got breach so we're good we're good we're gonna maintain Hound, hound's tooths taunt. But 
we do want rid of the tank. Right, so, um, and of course, Vader being kind of, there's two big damage dealers here. So you've got Vader, but I'm also now aware that uh, Boba Fett's about to do his awful AOE jobby, and I don't want that. So we get the stun, and then we get him down. So now it's just a race between me and his Thrawn. And this is so cruel. Oh, spoiler alert, damn, sorry. So now it's a race between me and his Thrawn. Wow, okay. You know what's coming now. In hindsight, I should, should, should have called in Cassian. Because look how close we get. He's in the yellow. Bang out the taunt again. He just holds on and then boom, he takes out my hound's tooth. So I don't know, I've, I've lost, what, four or more points on banners there. But um, just to let you know, he did have a crack at one of my squads, left it loaded and as to date hasn't gone again thank you for watching